Wendy's Weather Station by Andrea Kazmarek. Not fair, Wendy was cross. You promised we could go to the climbing park. But it's going to rain and the climbing park is outdoors. Mum shook her head. Wendy looked out of the window. But it isn't raining, just clouds. It isn't raining at all. The weather lady says so and she knows. Rain in the afternoon. Mum looked out of the window. I expect that the weather lady got it wrong. Wendy went to her bedroom. She stared out of her bedroom window. Silly weather lady, she whispered. And then the rain started. Oh, Wendy looked up at the sky. Not so silly weather lady. We'll go to the climbing park another day, Mum said, as she watched the rain splash. How does the weather lady know about the weather? Wendy asked. Well, she's got a weather station, I think. Mum was not sure. Grandpa might know. We'll ask him tomorrow. And that's what Wendy did. She asked her grandpa. We can build a little weather station in the garden if you like, Wendy, Grandpa explained. You'll need a wind vane to see how the wind is blowing. We can make that. We can make a rain gauge to measure how much rain has fallen. And I've got a good thermometer for outdoors. A thermometer? What's that? Wendy was puzzled. Grandpa laughed. A thermometer measures the temperature, how warm or cold it is. Thermometer. Wendy was pleased with her new word. And last of all, we need a barometer. That's a big word too, Wendy, Grandpa explained. A barometer tells us what the air pressure is. I've got one too. But what's air pressure? Wendy asked. Well, if the air pressure changes, the weather will change. Grandpa laughed and promised to help Wendy build a little garden weather station. Grandpa and Wendy worked hard. Wendy made the wind vane with paper cups on a stick. Like a pinwheel, Wendy laughed. They put up a bright wind sock, silly name with red, yellow and blue ribbons too. It isn't a sock at all. Wendy stuck the ribbons on, but we can see how windy the wind is. The rain gauge was easy, a glass jar with the measures written on the side. They put it into the grass so it couldn't get knocked over. The barometer and the thermometer were easy too, and they found a good place near Wendy's playhouse. And Grandpa made a stand so Wendy could check every day. And now the most important thing, Wendy. Grandpa fixed a chart on the wall of her playhouse. You have to keep a chart, a list of all the wind, rain and temperature changes. That's when you'll see how the weather is changing. Then you really will be a weather girl. All Wendy's friends visited her garden weather station. Rain, windy, sun, snow, hot, cold, cloudy, stormy, very windy. Wendy had painted a picture for all the things a weather girl has to say. She held up two pictures, rain and very windy tomorrow. And she put on her yellow rain hat and all her friends laughed. The next morning the wind started and later the rain poured down. Wendy is a weather girl, Wendy's friends laughed. With Grandpa's help, Wendy looked at the sky and checked her weather station. Wendy was a very good weather girl, until one icy cold winter day. When will it snow? Wendy, we want to know. That was the big question. It was very cold. Wendy put up her freeze card. Tomorrow, it will snow tomorrow, Wendy was sure. But it didn't snow, not even one tiny snowflake. Wendy, you aren't a weather girl at all. You promised snow and snowmen. Wendy asked Grandpa. My weather station says snow, but there's no snow. No weather girl is always right, but it will snow soon, I'm sure, said Grandpa. And two days later, the snow fell and covered up Wendy's weather station, so that you could hardly see it. Wendy's friends were happy now. They got out their sledges and they made a big snowman. Thank you, Wendy weather girl, we got our snow. I am a weather girl, but it isn't my snow. The snow clouds are the secret, Wendy smiled. But Wendy had a big problem. She didn't tell her friends. They were all so happy having fun in the snow. Wendy whispered the problem to Grandpa. The weather is changing in a day or two, it will get warmer, and then the snow will go. Ah, Grandpa smiled. Let your friends play in the snow today. Tell them tomorrow. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids. <laughs>